today Alex and Bobby are flying the Rotorad Cinemate. This is built on the Shendrone's thick frame. It's a coaxial octocopter. So we got eight motors spinning seven inch blades. This can lift quite a heavy payload. You can get a workout lifting this thing. You can see on top of it, we've got a really nice camera. Alex has uh, volunteered his red Komodo. This is a really next level camera capable of some beautiful shots. And that is exactly what this drone is built to do. We have it available on rotoriot.com. I mean, you should probably know what you're doing though because this is this is like the next, <laughs> this is very pro grade cinema flying. We did in a previous episode a flight with this where you flew a dummy weight yep. and I was kind of giving you some tips and tricks on flying heavy cine lifters because they fly a lot different than your normal FPV drone. They do. I'm gonna get to see how you fly the Komodo and we're gonna talk about different lens choices, framing up the paramotors, tips and tricks for flying the Komodo. I think by the end of today, you're gonna be nailing it. But, but today I actually started off a lot longer ago. Way earlier. We've been up for a long time. This is what it's like to be on a filming set, man. I've been telling you this. It's not like uh, just getting up at like eight in the morning and doing a normal day job. This is uh, this is the real behind the scenes the life of an FPV pilot. You flew a dummy weight, which it's you're holding right there with a GoPro on it, rather. Pretty light. Which is pretty light. Yeah. I want you to feel with the Komodo with the lens and payload weights. Well, that's a lot heavier. Right. So remember how you were kind of like flipping it around and then doing all these crazy tricks. Can't do that with this camera. Can you? you can do it, but it's going to be a lot heavier and you're going to drain the battery a lot quicker as well. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're flying this thing, it is heavier now. We got the camera angles pretty much dialed in with each other. And I'll go into the DJI headset. I'm going to turn on the framing lines because the height on the lens is a lot shorter than that of the, uh, the DJI camera. Also, it's a lot less wide. So we're going to create some little framing lines and we'll match them up visually as well as in the goggles. So that way, as long as you keep the paramotor inside the framing lines, you'll be framed up on the camera. That's so sick. <laughs> Look at this. This is the golden light. It's my turn. I'm so ready. It's gonna fly heavier. Okay. So really small movements. Don't Real even touch the sticks. Don't even touch the sticks. Don't even touch the sticks. I'll watch your flight time probably about three minutes. All right. You got this? Also, right. you're gonna notice more prop wash too, so try and not. Oh, you notice more prop wash? Oh yeah, because it's heavier. So heavier quads will always have more prop wash. If it's, the pins aren't compensating, yeah. Okay. But the pins are really good right here. It's just, it's heavier. The prop can't spin up as fast. That's it. Where, where are they at? They are to your right. They're straight up above us almost, Bubby. There you go. You just flew through their weight. Beautiful. All right, he's on him. Remember, really small correction. This is difficult. I don't know why. Remember, small movements, small, small, small movements. Yeah. Everything shows up on camera. Real smooth. Make those small movements really tiny. Beautiful. My heart is like pounding out of my chest. Battery's good. You got about another minute and a half. Real I'm small movements. I'm having trouble keeping the throttle uh, consistent. You see all three? Yeah. Yeah, he's got all three in sight. About 30 seconds, Bubby. They're turning right. Bobby, turn around. Look at that. Just cruise it back, your batteries. The and... hardest thing is keeping the throttle at a consistent speed. Yeah. Weird. No, yeah, it's a lot different with the heavier weight. Where's the arm switch? Right here? Yep, it's right here. I'm gonna help you with it once you're done loading. Arm it? I'll disarm it. Okay. Cool. All right. Good job, Bubby. That was scary. Like it is scary. It is scary. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! How do you feel flying a Komodo? Just so you know, fifteen thousand dollar drone in the air. I, I was probably more scared, like even if it was with my five-inch quad, I'd yeah. probably have the same feeling. 
but like it just feels like a quad. So like once I'm up there, it's so normal. So it's really funny because watching you fly, you did a really great job, but it made me so nervous just watching you around the paramotor. And the guys I work with, they always get so nervous when I fly. I'm like, guys, what's the big deal? I know what I'm doing. Just like you know what you're doing, yeah. you're in control. But when you're watching it, especially when you just know the payload and how it can pose a big risk, Oh, it makes yeah. you so nervous. <laughs> like when I'm flying, I'm not nervous at all. And I'm sure you felt the same, but like, man, when I was watching, I was so nervous. What was, time. what made me nervous was multiple subjects and right. having to keep like my bearings of where they are was really difficult. So what you have to do when there's two in the air is you need to be always know where the other one is. Mm -hmm. Start by having both of them framed up and then maybe focus on one, but at least when you're doing that, you know roughly where that other one was and is. Gotcha. And then try and look back every now and then, just to make sure. smooth and cinematic beautiful keep them in the center there beautiful Bobby nice real smooth so when he turns around like that he's gonna see the way he accelerates oh yeah that's what that's what's like killer is like so like right now you're not in his way because the way he's going real small movements real small movements flow with them real gentle he's gonna come like right yeah his movements are like interesting. He's doing a bunch of uh, clover leaves. Yeah. Yeah, once he gets to us, you're gonna have to land because I don't want to put any more on the. Okay. okay, actually, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Where, where are we? Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't like how much it sags. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Good job, Bubby. Straight for the pavement, nice smooth landing. I'll help you with the disarm. So you just get nice and stop. Don't land it fast because yeah, no. we have props in the mouth. Coming down and. Nice job, Bubby. Nice job, hey. man. Really good. When he's descending like that too, it's easy to fly in that prop wash. So try and. Don't try and just stick like right behind him. Try and go a little bit out. Okay. And then really small corrections still. You're making, you're yeah, still making still big movements. Stuff. Yeah, just don't even t let, let it flow. So you're switching to the nine millimeter lens. Yes, yeah, so this is a really wide angle. Okay. So this would be more like the GoPro though. Oh, so big time. It's also a lot lighter, like 500 grams lighter. So really? the drone's gonna fly a little bit longer and be a little bit more responsive.
so cool. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. So much fun, guys. That Being so able to fun. share the skies with you guys is next level. When you're flying along, mm -hmm. AJ and I and Dave are all stacked up, and all of a sudden I got this giant freaking <laughs> octocopter <laughs> just soaring past me. It's like, ah, there's a camera. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. awesome. So, yeah. Bubby, you went out there, and your first flight, you know, a little bumpy. It was a little bit bumpy. One thing that I was telling you was you needed to be smoother on the sticks. This heavy drone has a lot more prop wash than mm -hmm. the smaller drones do. So when you're descending as they're doing their aerobatics, you're starting to fly into all that prop wash and you're kind of jerking on the controls. Yeah. So you started to smooth it out and then you went up the second time and you were much, much smoother. You also had them framed up a little bit better. You were kind of hunting for them across the screen. So we put the framing lines in our goggles and I was telling Bubby, keep it right in the center and they're gonna be perfectly center framed and then your second flight was just really, really good. Cool, thanks man. I really yeah. appreciate all the tips you've been giving me. I will say this yeah. is like the most challenging thing I've ever done, hands down. Just being in 3D space and you guys go, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's like, where are you guys going? And like, for me, with a new drone and doing something new is really challenging. And I'm talking to Reese after just five seconds of watching you guys fly, I'm like, how much does it cost to learn to fly a paramotor? It looks like a lot of fun. It's about like buying a motorcycle. You guys can do it too. Contact us, aviatorppg.com, youtube.com slash aviator, hashtag fly all the things. But we really appreciate you guys watching this video. Shout out to these guys for letting us come out and fly these scary drones around you guys. And you guys are just awesome. We appreciate all you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell. Be sure to check out our store too. You can buy this drone that we flew today and you have this whole tutorial series to even help you. Thank you so much for watching guys. And we'll catch you on the next one.